Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Bliss Motion Effect. So in the first um, tutorial uh, for Motion Effect, I introduced the product and I also mentioned that I was going to add additional videos on uh, to demonstrate how you can use um, Motion Effect um, for other purposes. So this is the first one. So what I wanted to do um, initially when I thought about this was to use a motion effects or to see if I could use it as an arpeggiator. So what I've done, I'm inside AUM, so we can also see how the app uh, performs as an AUV3, which by the way is brilliant because the performance uh, is really, really excellent. So I've created an audio channel initially, which was with Continua, and I chose um, one preset from the uh, Sonal system bank and called um, um, a bloodline bass and uh, this is what it sounds like and then I thought okay great could I actually use motion effects as an arpeggiator to reproduce something like this and I thought yes I can do that because um, I can use the pitch effect and of course use the sequencer in there so let's introduce the first one so this is the um, this is motion effects i'm on pitch and i practically recreated that uh, pattern so you can see it goes from a lower c to a higher c so c, c tun, tun, which is that part of course different octave and then here you see an e flat and uh, also an f how do I know that or how do I ensure that I'm on the right scale? Well, under pitch you can select the grid here and you can select the minor and this is what I selected. The other thing as well, I increased the grain size to have more body, which is taken from the sound and also reduced the smoothness down to zero to make it sound more like um, an arpeggiator as it uh, switches. I defined eight steps at the resolution to one eighth and uh, I had the grid on so that I could be precise. So now, if I press play and I hold a note on C1, so as you can see, you have uh, an arpeggiator. And then I thought, oh great, so let's have some fun with it. So I introduced again another instance of motion effects. This time I actually chose one preset called Scissors, which was uh, already available there and, um, um, and it did what I wanted, so it created that a little bit of spikiness in the worth, uh, in the uh, through the warmth um, effect. As you can see, the settings as per default, default drive settings. But what I was interested in was the spiking effect for the sequencer. So listen to what it sounds like now. So it gives it almost um, something more rhythm, rhythmic, which is great. Then what I did next, I said, oh, well, while I'm here, let's add also some bliss reverb, as you can see. Just made some couple adjustment on the gain, things like that, but not much. So let's listen now. So great. Then I thought, well, okay, I don't want to be switching uh, between notes, so why don't I get something like step bud to make the switch for me? So I thought, okay, let's do that. And I created an instance of step bud as a MIDI processor. I set um, scale C minor. Then I set the rate quite um, low to one, the gate almost to maximum. And then I create this pattern in terms of note. And I have eight steps, so this is what it sounds like now. Okay, then next I thought, why don't we use the same sequence uh, from StepBud of notes to drive another synth? So I introduced Poseidon here, and uh, I chose one preset called Dark Fatty Lid, and um, this is what it sounds like now. <laughs> But 
But then I thought it's a little bit boring. Um, so let's do something to that preset. So I create another instance of motion effect. And then what I wanted to do was something that would increase the volume from up down. But instead of using the volume, I used the low pass. And as there was already a preset available called the rise up. And um, and to complete uh, as well, I introduced again another bliss um, reverb effect into it. So let's listen now to what it sounds like. <laughs> As you can hear and as you can see, um, you can have so much fun using Bliss Motion Effects. I hope this gives you some ideas and I see you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.